In this assignment, we're going to look at how to use spell and grammar check. Now, this is a great one for this because I know I have lots of spelling errors. These little red squigglies, when you see these, it means Microsoft Word thinks that you've spelled something wrong. Now, some people are really, really uptight about this, and they can't handle those red squigglies, and they want to fix them one at a time. Other people, like me, I tend to usually let them be until I'm all done, and then I go back and review, because I find that stopping to fix spelling errors as I go gets in my way of my thoughts, and I don't write as well. But other people, they can't stand it. Like, they can't even get another thought out until it's fixed and perfect. So I would say for you, just kind of experiment, see what style is better. Now, two ways to review. One way is to right-click next to the word, and it'll have other words that it thinks it might be. And if you're sure the word is correct, like you're writing Mr. Cowan, and word is like, I don't know Mr. Cowan, you can say ignore spelling error, and it'll just ignore it. It'll leave you alone on it. If you want to do your document all at once, you go to the Review tab up here, and you hit... Ooh, they don't have... Oh, spelling, right there. And you just click the little ABC. And it's just going to go through one at a time and click the different things in your document that it thinks um, don't match up or, or don't aren't spelled right. So what I want you to do is send me a screen snip of you being at this review tab. So I know that you know to click review and you know to click spelling, like to go review your spelling errors. Just turn that screen snip in, and you're good to go.